you're sitting at your computer right now watching this. Oh. Ah, uh, so, oh, so when I go on. Yeah, it's Inception. <laughs> <laughs> Even at Jake's, I must have hard-boiled eggs. You demanded it. Yes, and the three that I'm having are not necessarily the same as the three that he's having. <laughs> I like your jeans. The like, screw fly is super not zipped up. I need two hands. Yes. She wore those jeans like me. How, what? How they fit? Like, the yeah, fit they fit them? nice around your ass. Oh! Like, like, oh, like, oh, do like, they? Like, 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 it's a good, I, I'm not hitting you, I'm saying it, like, it, like, it looks good, it's a good fit. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna, you know. Yeah. Boil. Boil them faster. Hey, in real life, the burner is red, but in the video, it looks pink. Really? Let's see. No, it looks pretty red. <laughs> what? Wow. What are you color by? Dick. <laughs> Making a milkshake pours the entire blueberry, like, carton into the... Blender. It smells kind of like, tastes like, I don't know, like blueberry, banana, caramel. Which actually isn't that bad. Blueberry, banana, caramel, yes. <laughs> now it's it doesn't look very thick. It's just like, <laughs> oh, actually, no, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. What's the verdict? Is it good? It's not cold enough. <laughs> Should use the frozen bananas. <laughs> the frozen bananas are not for you. <laughs> We're saving them <laughs> for when the Pope comes over. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Where? <laughs> there's, there's so many of them. Look how many there are. <laughs> and then, More of this. Oh God. <laughs> what is with- <laughs> I can't hold all these bananas. Wait, there's more. Is there more? <laughs> huh? What is with all the frozen So my- bananas? no my- no my hands are cold. <laughs> like- they're like the family heirloom. <laughs> They've been in there for so long. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine frozen bananas. <laughs> They've been in my house for a year. I don't know why we keep them. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's an inside joke between me and Jake. So Jake pours out most of the milk. No, I know. <laughs> there was only a little left. It was pretty gross, though, to be honest. It, it wasn't bad. It just uh, it it, it would have been better without the caramel. Uh, it was too sweet for me, actually. Okay, so I've taught Jake how to play Minecraft. Yes. And <laughs> he made a castle in the sky. Yeah. Uh, it's over there. And nobody's allowed in. <laughs> Nobody's allowed in my castle. No one. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. Got some smudge on you. Back in Brampton. Hi, Mom. How are you? Hi. Oh, what, what, what are you doing? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's taken 20 minutes just to get the car I'm warmed sorry. up while sitting here. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My mind is kind of... Look frozen? No. It's... Oh. Well, first of all, it's really cold. But... And your gloves are in your bag. <laughs> I had these two ladies in front of me on the train that were just engaging in the most mind-numbing small talk hour-long small talk that I, like, like, the conversation went from, like, kids these days are out of control to freaking, like, teachers and parents, it's the parents' fault, and then somehow they got into light bulbs <laughs> and uh, saving energy and, you know, and then one lady asked what the difference between Celsius and Fahrenheit was, and I was like, God, I hope you're not a chef. <laughs> and then they started talking about how the, the clothes that the kids wear these days are, are ridiculous, like jeans with holes in them. And then they were talking about the good old days, the clothes in the good old days with the fishnet stockings and mesh, and uh, it was just mind like, like, I don't know, I cringe at, at take small it you talk. didn't have any headphones. There. No, I <laughs> wish I had brought my headphones. I was tweeting the entire trip. Um, 
like a play-by-play -play of this conversation. <laughs> Go a little earlier, you get a seat in the quiet zone. It was ridiculous. Or bring your headphones. I hate anything that has to do with kids these days or, you know, that sort of shit. Well, you know every generation does that, I, right? I know, which and, is and why it's like... when you're in your 40s, you will say, kids these days, and then you will... Remember the good old days when we used to just wear jeans with holes in them? And guys used to, guys used to wear their jeans down to their, you know, the bottom of their bums? Because, mm. you know, kids these days will be wearing something completely different when you're in your 40s. I don't understand how people can just strike up a conversation with a complete stranger. How did you know they were strangers? Because they just met okay. and started talking. Well, for all you know, they thought they were philosophizing. <laughs> at one point they kept looking at me and just smiled and kept talking and I was like, you guys know that you're annoying me right now and you're just talking and you're trolling me. I, I was like, <laughs> how they know that they're they're making my brain explode right now. <laughs> and they're just gonna keep going. And then one of them left and I had to make sure I didn't make eye contact with the other one because then she would have tried to... Engage you in engage conversation? Engage me in conversation. Good. I don't need that. Well, I guess I'm glad to be home. Like, I'm not glad to be back in Brampton, but I'm glad to be back at home. Does that make sense? You know, I like home, but not Brampton. I don't like, I don't like the way you talk about Brampton. It's been a very, very good city for you to grow up in. In which to grow up? Never. It was a great place to grow up. Was. Yeah. It's still a great place to live. To grow up. And to live. Not once you're grown. Okay. Then. Okay. I don't know. Whatever. Well, I don't know. I guess I'm a city boy. Whatever. <sighs> okay, so as you saw earlier, um, I was having a normal day. And then uh, I had dinner. And I, hang on. I had dinner and then I had a shower and it's been a couple hours now and I've just been having anxiety, anxiety attack. And this right here is one of the things that I do when I have anxiety. I just constantly run my fingers through my hair. And for some reason that calms me. So if this is your first time watching one of my vlogs, um, I have an anxiety disorder called GAD. Um, generalized anxiety disorder where anxiety attacks manifest because of an irrational phobia. In my case, it's emetophobia, fear of vomiting. It happens at random times, but I'm gonna say 90% of the anxiety attacks I've had in my life have been at nighttime. Um, I don't know, I feel, I feel some, it always starts because I feel something happen in my stomach, like a bubble or just like a growl or, you know, like a little stomach ache. And because of this little blip in my stomach, I start to breathe really heavily. Um, my heart rate goes way up. 
I start, uh, when it's really bad, I start to shake quite uncontrollably. Um, it hasn't been that bad. I haven't, I haven't had an anxiety attack that bad in a really long time, though. Like, more than a year. Um... And like, it's just a, it's just a really weird thing to deal with because I've had it since I was 11 years old and a hundred percent of the time when I've had an anxiety attack, I have not thrown up. The times that I have thrown up, um, I didn't have an anxiety attack because it's like your body knows when it's sick. And that's what I try and tell myself when I'm having, having an anxiety attack. I try to tell myself that, you know, you've been through this before, you've beaten this thing thousands of times, you've come away from this vomit-free thousands of times, but, you know, it just, it just still shows up. And by no means do I have the worst, most severe type of anxiety uh, that there is because, because I've been to uh, meetings, I've been to anxiety meetings before, mental health meetings where people have given speeches, like really, really mentally ill people giving speeches and it's like, I really have such a minuscule thing here compared to those people, but because I don't have anything else to compare it to, it feels bad to me. And because of this anxiety disorder, I have OCD, always washing my hands. If there's a Purell bottle around or hand sanitizer around, every like 15 minutes, half an hour, I am always sanitizing my hands, even though I know that does absolutely nothing. I will not enter any situation that could possibly lead to me throwing up. Uh, that's why I don't go on roller coasters, um, and I do not drink and get drunk. I mean, the other night when I was drinking, um, I, mean, I was making sure that I was drinking lots and lots of water in between even the shots, and even then I didn't get drunk to the point of throwing up. I got buzzed. And even that, I had anxiety that night. It just gets in the way of life, and it... You know, and I've tried taking medication for it. It just seems that the best way for me to cope with my anxiety is by talking myself through it and just breathing. Before I started the vlogs, I used to just talk to myself, and now I have a camera to talk to, which is weird because it actually makes me feel like I'm talking to someone, like I'm actually talking to you, uh, the viewer. Makes me feel better a little bit. It's not amazing, eh? Start to get emotional about it. It's just I gotta. I I kind of get reminded that it's just something I have to deal with. There's no point in me getting emotional about it because I have to deal with it. I can't even like I can't even explain the feeling like what I'm feeling right now because my mind starts to go through like scenarios in my head. Like what did it feel like the last time you threw up? Like did it feel like this? Is this the time you're gonna throw up? Obviously not, but my mind still just goes through all that. Uh, it, sometimes it happens while I'm trying to sleep. And when that happens, I try to just... And when that happens, I lay on my back. Because laying on my back puts the least amount of strain on my stomach. And I just try to put myself into a meditative state by doing something called box breathing, which is... Um, Breathe in, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Breathe out, one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four. Breathe in. So by doing that and counting with it and actually picturing the lines of a box being drawn, my mind goes into a meditative state and my body calms down. Feel free to use that technique. I did not make it up. It's not patented. 
See, like right now, let, let, let's try, let me try and figure out what I'm exactly feeling right now. I do feel a little bit of a ache in my stomach. I'm not going to say that it's a nauseous feeling, it's more of an ache. Right in the pit of my chest here, I feel very wide. I don't know how, I don't know how else to explain it other than using the word wide. Like I feel like it's being stretched outwards. My lungs are like in the middle chest plate area here. I feel very heavy, I guess you can say. Short of breath. My throat. Um, my throat feels very empty. Kind of like the feeling you get when you're hungry. And I kind of feel like my, it kind of feels like um, my gag reflex is working. It feels like I'm gagging a little bit. Which makes me even more anxious because that's exactly what throwing up feels like. When you like when you gag, it, it, it's it's one of the, it's one of my least favorite feelings in the world. So all of that put together, the combination of those just creates the heightened heart rate and nervous uh, like sort of things. I don't even know what that is. A nervous mannerism, anxiety. <laughs> I know this is not what a good vlog consists of, and I'm actually going to run out of uh, memory space uh, in a bit, so I'm uh, I'm going to end the video here, you know, talking to you guys. I do feel a little calmer. It's 9.45 at night. I'm going to try and get some rest. What, maybe watch some Netflix first, and then get some rest. And then start off the day well tomorrow. As always, click that link for tomorrow's, um, yesterday's video. Over there is tomorrow's video. Uh, tomorrow's actually the day I'm going to be doing a YouTube video with Marissa, but then again, it might not happen because the weather has just been really crazy, it's not safe driving, so hopefully the weather is better tomorrow. Up here uh, are my social medias, and you can add me and like me, I follow back, I promise I will, <laughs> and uh, leave a comment in this video in order for it to be featured in tomorrow's end slate. As always, it was great spending the day with you. It was. It's great spending every day with you. My name is Adam Christopher Scott, and I will see you in another life. Good night.